What is going on everyone? KM Dolph back again. It's a double episode today. Uh, welcome to the next installment of Transport Fever. Now I say double episode, but let's be honest, it's just me recording back-to-back -back episodes wearing the same shirt, uh, and this won't get released for several days after. But in any event, uh, we last I last left you at the end of my last recording here in Grayson with all this trucking nonsense. So lots of things are happening. Uh, but one thing I've done, and I've done it off camera, I wasn't happy with trucks for doing the bulk of the stones and all that sort of stuff. I've done a little bit of uh, stuff off camera, and we're going to get... I'm going to show you what that is right after the intro. And we're back from the intro just like that. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there is a rail line and out from the tunnel very shortly. Look at it. Glorious. You know what? I think, as I show you the rest of this little layout, I think this deserves some, uh, some background music. Cue background music. See? Everything is better with background music. And then out of the tunnel it comes, and there you go. These are just the sort of things that I like doing on Transport Fever. If there's a line to be had, I will have it. Little double, double header Great Western Railway style. And just like that, they're going to take back off up the mountain. Now what I will do in the meantime, while that takes off, we're going to leave this nice little view here. I'm going to go to the old uh, Grayson bulk with the trucks and I'm going to tell every single one of them to go and get sold because that line is of no use to me at all anymore. So goodbye all. As my majestic GWRs come back up the hill to take off towards the... Uh, Parts are unknown. Up to the stone bulk. I just couldn't resist it. I, anyone that knows me knows I love trains. And um, this was certainly no exception. But look at how, look at how nice and scenic this is. Look at it. I mean, I can put a bit more shrubs there and make it look a bit, uh, a bit more nice. But look at that. Look at the scenic. It's so scenic. I love it. Noisy trucks, bugger off. Go get sold. There you go. Up he goes. Getting a bit of glitchy. Bit of glitch mania happening there, just as the trucks are getting sold. As they do. Now I'll get rid of that. There you go, and they're off. And look at that. There is already the stones are happening. Now, one thing I did do was I made this ugly little thing. But um, I might make that into some sort of little siding thing with some decorations to make it look nice. But yeah, if you have a look over here, look at that. We have already got the stone happening. Now, one thing I have just noticed is that uh, my station's not having the best of times with... Uh, not having much of an agreement there, are you? You're not getting along. Never mind. It happens. But, uh, yes, I can now officially get rid of this. This thing was uh, pretty much doomed to fail from the start, I think. Just so that it's got a road going to it. Although I can probably downgrade that now since I'm not going to use it anymore. Make you a bit of uh, the medium country roads. There you go. Make you look better. And now it doesn't look as shabby. 
going down there, which looks nice. And then, yeah, we've now got the stone, the stone freight doing its thing. This thing's now taken off at a speed of knots, giving me a whole of 28 bits of stone so far, which is not much by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, by the time my little... Oh, there you go, look at him. Speed of knots. Ducking along his little branch line that he's got. It does look rather scenic. I mean, look at that. Love it. I love it. You love it. And he's got uh, he's got 15 trucks on the back of him. So he will carry 150, because each of those trucks carries 10. So that will be uh, that will be quite uh, handy. I mean, I could do that, but I don't really want to. But I'm going to do it anyway. And then I'm going to go back to only one. Because at least now, it looks like that uh, they've done a bit of excavating there in order to make it happen. So we'll smooth that field out. Smooth this out a little bit. And get the... There you go. That looks a bit better. Look at that. Actually looks like a proper little mountainous community thing going on there. There you go. Smooth that all out. Make it all look nice and pretty. There you go. Beautiful. And look at that. He's got the stones. That stone actually looks really cool animated in those GWR trucks. I like it. In any event, he's off. Doing 40 kilometres an hour. Breakneck pace. 74 an hour. Oh, that's, that's going pretty good. That's going gangbusters, that is. And he's off. Beautiful. So there you go. That's um, that's what I wanted to bring to you in today's episode, if nothing else, uh, is my nice new little stone line that I've created. The good thing is, is that where I've placed this, it connects with the... Uh, the construction material plant. So I don't need to organise any extra trucks or anything of that nature. I've literally just got this two little... I mean, really, we can go back to two platforms now. I don't need as much. And then I can smooth the back end of that out just to make it look nice and presentable. There you go. Looks good. And then every time you're looking at this, you're going to see a nice little steam train going over the back there. Because I like steam trains, and that's what I like to do. Now, we have got the... Um, nice, still building. How's this all going over here? Look at that. It's going gangbusters is what it's doing. Look at this. Look at all this industry. Damn. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Grayson is uh, taking off quite nicely. How's the tram system doing going over here in Maxwell? Maxwell seems to be doing okay. You've got 72 people ready there to, you know, to giddy up and get out of here. Six of 29. Okay, so the the trams are not... Uh, oh, there you go, 23. Oh, there you go. Giddy up. So one, one tram's doing exceedingly well. The other one, not so much, but... Uh, it looks like Maxwell is starting to uh, to build, which is great. It's exactly what we wanted it to do, uh, which is always a good thing. The one thing I will have to do at some point is I might have to just quickly grab a train to come into there because I want to get, uh, I want to take advantage of that. I want to make some more fuels because we know everyone loves fuels, and at least that way then I can drag it off, drop it off, do whatever I want to do with it, even if I have to drop it off at a passenger station. Which I won't do. But anyway. So, okay. Everything seems to be going well. I do think I need more than just two trains on this particular line. I do. I'm really starting to think that. Because five stations, two trains is uh, not exactly ideal, is it? Especially if they're constantly running at a 68 capacity. Yeah, I might look at updating them. Let's do that. That's today's episode. Let's update trains. Now, I do still have one of these. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that uh, Great Western Railway line. I'm going to go replacement trains. Can you get rid of that one? And we're going to go with something a bit more... Sticking with steam because, you know, it's, it's, it's steam. You have to. But peppercorn. 160 kilometres an hour. Beast. We're going with that. And then passenger... We need, um, because that, that, that is still British Railway, so I'm not, uh, not too fussed with that. So that's 21 and 21, so that's the BRMKNs, the BSOs, another BSOs. Do I want to just stick things on that and just have five running on each, and that's 105 capacity? Or do I still want to stick with, uh, something of a, of a GWR... No, you know what? Let's let's just go. Let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be a nice big, uh, big beefy train. And then I do need to create one more for it. So we'll go back in here. Passengers. No, we want steam first, please. We want that butte looking LNR peppercorn. And then we want those uh, the BSOs. One, two, three. Four, five, and we'll stick you on the uh, the Great Western Railway, and that way, then I've got three trains running on it instead of two. What a horrible little uh, whistle that was! The soundtracks are starting to get a little bit. Uh, how are you going? But uh, you know, what do you do? I must admit, though, those carriages do look all right. Now, the one thing I've just noticed on this is this thing has got uh, not the high speeds. So we'll upgrade that and give it the high speeds. Thank you very much. Excellent, so that's all happening. He's off. Beautiful. There's a little delivery train coming into Alexandria Freight Bulk. He's not picking anything up for some reason. I don't know why that is. Why are you not picking nothing up? Why you got nothing? Yeah. Well, that's just rude. There's a lot of livestock there to be picked up. Where's the old 3830s doing their bit? They've got to be around here somewhere, surely. Can I upgrade that and make that high speed? Thank you. Um, maybe not. Well, there you go. Nothing's going to be high speeds going through there. Cool. Is there a train coming through here? What are you? You're my 3830. I know that sound anywhere. Let's watch it come through. We haven't seen the 3830 for a while, and we haven't been back over the other side for a little while, so might have to dedicate some more time to going back over there and making sure everything's running properly. Oh, something's stopped along the way. What have, what have you stopped? Oh, yeah. Food trains. Sweet. Oh, that's right. You're the one that picks up the livestock. The 3830 just comes through here doing his thing. He's got a lot of construction materials going on there. That's why he's running so bloody slowly at 40 kilometres an hour. God. 3830, it might almost be time to retire you from freight services and put you on passenger services instead. Might have to shove a diesel on there. Let the diesels do all the heavy bulk freight work. Yeah, he's not he's not getting the speed he used to. Oh. Warning. 
Vehicle 56. What are you? What are you? What are you? New stuff available. Giddy up. Port Morgan, Jackson City, and Jackson City. Well, I don't really care about that too much. Go away. There you go. See, look at all that stone. That should be... Yeah. Sorry, boys. I think it's time to retire you. Replacement. I'm going to have to get rid of yous. You need something a lot stronger to be pulling that stuff. Uh, we're going to have to go with a with a dirty, dirty diesel. Um, and we're going to have to go with something that looks pretty beefy. Uh, what do we want to go with here? We've got something here that's like... Missouri Pacific, Missouri Pacific, Lane Valley, the Union Pacific, the Burlington. So this is all American. I don't really want to chuck American on there. But there's nothing here in British that... Uh, That'll even come close to doing the job that... Uh, maybe it will, actually. 140, yeah, but it hasn't got anywhere near the pulling power. 105. I think the... Uh... Yeah, I might just shove a Missouri Pacific on there. I think, yeah, replace that, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to replace the 3830s, and I'm going to have to put them into service somewhere else, I just haven't figured out quite where yet, I don't really want to put it on anything that's uh, too heavy, That's what I want to know very quickly. How fast does a 3830 go in comparison to that thing? Steam Locos. Let's go back down and have a scroll through here and try and find ourselves a little 3830. Where is he? There he is. He goes 130. That's not bad. I'm, I, I'm actually a lot happier with that than I am with... Uh... Yeah, you know what? I want to keep the, uh, the New South Wales steam alive and I know anyone that... Uh... Yep, bugger it, getting replaced. We're doing a replacement episode today on uh, Transport Fever, ladies and gentlemen. 3830 is coming back into service. I'm going to need some uh, some less than... Uh, uh, what have we got here that we can shove onto the back of a 3830? I mean, probs nothing. Um, uses GWR Colette coach body. They only take 18. Uh, what else have we got? I don't really want it carrying the BCs because they're a bit old and crappy. They only also go 120. But they only... They cost a lot less. Fine. Three, four, five. Do it. Replace them. I want 3830s on the Great Western Railway because that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. And um, we're going to quickly go to Grayson, watch it happen, and then that's it for today. All right. Run my passenger service 3830. Relive your glory. One hundred and ten percent happy with that decision to put thirty eight thirty into a passenger service, even though most thirty eights back in the day probably would have done mixed freight. Some would have done uh, passenger, but I'm putting thirty eight thirty back on the passenger steams. Because I can. So guys, that will do it for today. You know what? Let's watch him come over the uh, watch him come over the bridge as we close off the episode for today. For this uh, double recording that I bring in you. But again, you won't see it for a couple of extra days. But that's fine. You guys still love it. So, um, yeah. Trams are doing well. They're doing their thing. 
This place is building up like there's no man's business. And uh, everything is all good in the hood. So, guys... Oh, hang on. Get rid of that catenary. I don't like the catenaries. Go away. We're not up to catenary world yet. We're still in steam world, even though it's 1976. Diesel's had uh, very much taken over by that point. But, um, yeah, you can see him in the background there, chuffing on through. So, guys, yeah, I'll call off today's episode. Uh, as I said, I wanted to show off the, uh, the new little GWR stone freight line, which is always good. We'll replace some trains. Had a little bit of a scope around, and it's all a good bit of fun. So, guys, I will leave it for now. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you comment if there's something you want me to do as part of the series, and I might just look into it. And, guys, I will see you for the next installment of Transport Fever. Take care.